Hello and welcome everyone to part 4 of my World of Tanks gameplay with live commentary. And yeah, sorry about the break, been away for a while, I <laughs> haven't put a video up for a few weeks, um, been a bit busy, uh, been away. But I'm back, hopefully should be able to, maybe every week or so, put up a new video, hopefully, of World of Tanks contents. But, got a, quite a lot since I was last on, um, there's changed, got the T1 Heavy now, which is a tier 5 American heavy tank. Um, yeah, pretty good actually, Not, I'm, I'm enjoying it, as you can see, I've pretty much upgraded everything, got the better gun, turret, engine, tracks, I mean suspension. Um, only, I'm considering buying that, the better signal range for the radio, but we'll see. Or I'm just thinking you save it up for, but I think I will. Um, also, this was that Stuart, that free gift that they gave you, everyone. I don't know if it is, I don't know if it's a limited time or not, to be honest. May, they may end up giving it for all eternity, I'm not really sure, so, but still got that, T-26. The Hertzer, Tier 4, German anti-tank yeah, tank destroyer. Um, unlock the Stug, it's there, ready for me to just sort of buy it and get into it, but unfortunately, I don't have the credits, as you can see, quite short of that. That's because, uh, something else. Um, I still got the AM AM AMX 40, the Tier 4 French light tank, although I don't know if you can really call it a light tank, but anyway. Um, and it's still got a long way to go towards the LC AMX, so still a long way to go there. Uh, new addition, the T-46, which is the Soviet Tier 3 light tank. Um, new addition, because I've got rid of my artillery. I thought, looked at my artillery, and I looked at it, and I went, I don't really use the artillery, so... I thought, rather than having one slot taken with something I don't use, um, I'll just go down the new line of the tech tree and do get something I will use. So hopefully I'll, I'm up to this at the moment, been working out, through, went through T26, now this, then I'll go to the T28, and then I'll go to the KV-1, yes, um, yes, I am going down that KV-1 line, I know how popular and all that is with a lot of players on World of Tanks who like heavy tanks, but I kind of want to... From what I've seen, it looks like good fun to use it, so I wanted to go down it and use it, and I'd certainly use it more than the artillery anyway, so. Well, the old T-34, um, now the, um, Soviet medium tank, tier 5. Well, I absolutely love this thing, to be honest, I really do enjoy using this tank. Very good fun to use, um, fully upgraded, as it turns out, I've unlocked everything for it. You know, the best radio, best engine, suspension, best gun, turrets. A lot of fun to use, and now I'm just going to build up to get to the T-3485. Um, and next, oh, and yeah, next up, the Crusader, and that's why I used the money. No, I could have used to get the Stug, but I thought I'd get the Crusader instead, which is the Tier 5 British light tank. As you can see, there's a now that I used in the last video. Got rid of that, moved on to the Crusader, and then the Cromwell after this, which is the mediums, so we're getting to the mediums. Um, and yeah, upgraded. The turret, really only the turret, the suspension, and the gun at this point. I'm working towards getting that gun. And I'll probably upgrade the um, radio, uh, radio maybe once or maybe twice. We'll see what happens. And then last is the Chiha, which is the well, Type 2597 Chiha, if you want to get the full, num full name in. is a Chinese Tier 3 light tank and... Yeah, I've upgraded the turret and the gun and the suspension on it, and I'm working towards, this is the Chinese line, which is a uh, new addition, that's right, there's been a major update, you should probably say that, since I last played, uh, 8.3 update, which has introduced the uh, Chinese t tech tree, so they've got now got a full tech tree, before I think you can only buy like a few of their tanks as premium, um, premium tanks, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but... Uh, I think that's how it was, and certainly wasn't a tech tree for them before, but now they've put in a, a whole tech tree for them, so, which is pretty awesome, and I think I'll go down, um, all the way up to tier 5, obviously you have to go down there, you can't do multiple routes up to there, and then I'll probably go down the type 58 line, and then, yeah, I reckon that, or I'm not really actually, uh, I'm not really sure, I'll see what happens, I'll either go that, or I'll go the light tank, but I will go down there to get to the mediums via the high tiers. Um, that's another reason why I'm doing the KV, because I've only got the one heavy tank at this point, which is the T1 heavy, and I thought, seeing as I've already got what will, when I get to the later tiers, have probably three medium tanks. Um, three is it, or? Yeah, three, three medium tanks. I thought I might as well get a heavy, um, to another heavy, so I've got two of them rather than having four mediums. Um, right, so today, hmm, oh, I'm thinking either T34 or T1 heavy. Um... 
We'll do T1 Heavy. Some heavy tank action in. Um, so, yeah. Oh, wow, that's quick. Mines. Thank God we're at the top. Good. Um, <laughs> this is a Tier 5, Tier 4, Tier 3 battle. And I do feel sorry for the guys at the bottom. Um, and, damn, they have the KV-220T, which is a beta test tank, I think. And they... Are very tough. Even I reckon they're almost even more hard to kill than the bloody KV ones, and they're hard enough. I think they've almost got an advantage here because they have a KV one and the KV two twenty, and we just have me and a Churchill one as our only heavy, heavy tanks. Um, so you've got the upgraded turret for it. it usually has six hundred hit points as standard, but with the upgraded turret you get um, six hundred and sixty. Uh, so I think it's actually got more hit points than the KV one fully upgraded. I think that's only got six forty with the upgraded turret, but Move out. But its sides and rear are quite vulnerable, unfortunately. So, right, I'm thinking we're gonna end the right flank this time around. I think I've done one match here before I've recorded. I think I may be wrong. Have I? No, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go down the right flank. Stuff the left. <laughs> we'll go down the right. Don't usually go down here. I either go down the middle or the left usually, but. Okay, and here, as you can see, got some deep good speed this thing has, but that's because I've upgraded the engine. Without the upgrade engine, it's pretty slow and cumbersome. But with the upgrade engine, it's quite quick. It's too bad. Who have I got with me? I've got a Stug 3 going along for the ride with me. Um, really, I should be just going forward. I don't think I don't know what the Stug's doing, blasting forward like this. He doesn't have the armor to really do this, but huh, the tank destroyer, Tim tank destroyer. Okay, well, suitable. So he's, he's in a tank destroyer, but. <laughs> Um, right, so we're gonna have to be careful. I think we'll, we'll be alright. We'll go down here. Yeah, so he's gonna follow me. So he's probably gonna what he'll do. I assume is oh, what's that? Oh. One of our tracks is damaged. Type forty six. Enemy is hit. T forty six. Sorry. Enemy is hit. Okay, he's basically so we're good He has detracted me, but that's okay because we got the kill. So there you go. First, second kill of the match to me. Yay. <laughs> and that was just because the T-46 was charging forward, so obviously he was hoping to maybe try and... Whoa, hello, speaking of flanking us, T-50s flanked us, and that will be artillery raining. Oh dear, good god, that's KV-1. Let's absorb the shot, alright. Okay, we got some good damage there, but we need to get the hell back, because we're getting pounded by the artillery. No, it's not artillery. No, wrong fucking thing. Balls. Four, five. Alright, I'm getting the hell out of here. So we're getting absolutely pounded by artillery at this point, so in, I'm going to use this building as cover. And yeah, I do have a repair kit too. It's more repair kit. I have that pretty much every tank now, because it really, as you saw then, it really does help that you have sticky situations. I was a bit slow to use it though, but... Alright, so this Stug is going to take on a KV. There he is. This isn't good. Alright, I'm getting flanked, and this is really not good. Um, hmm, this is awkward, I need help, and I've got no one. Um, I don't like this at all, I'll be honest. Grill, help me out. <laughs> Please, Grill, help me. Oh, far out, heavy one. Uh, damn it, I've got no bloody... No, call for help. Help me. All the help. Give me it all, I want all the help. Oh, I think I'm, I think I'm screwed. I think this is the end for me. Um, it just seems, by the looks of it, that unfortunately it was just me and the stug. It looks like everyone else just kind of chilled, needing to kill me here. Enemy armor is hit. Oh, should not have wasted that shot. No, don't hit me. Oh, Vehicle my cover. Ah, <sighs> well there you go. And that's the end of that match. So we got the early kill, but unfortunately it appears that our allies kind of just ditched that entire flank and just forgot about us. So who have we been... Wow. Yeah, we're going to lose this, I reckon. If... Because honestly, you can't just leave a whole flank just exposed like that. You really can't. That's just going to kill you. But this Churchill's doing a pretty good job of being a pain in the ass. <laughs> Uh, maybe if we can get rid of this KV-220, then we might be in good stead. Oh, yep, helps when he gets hit by artillery. Come on, Churchill, you need to take advantage of this. 
Yeah, and there goes. Oh, the grill just got their KV1. So yeah, actually we might win this. Be honest. Not much help from me, of course, but <laughs> it's okay. And there you go. Wow, the artillery is doing really well this game. Um, and that helps when you have good artillery that actually does their job and knows how to shoot. Um, that really does make it a lot easier for you. Um, and also that's their their artillery. So we've got a tank destroyer at this point going there. I think doing some arty killing. Oh, although he's dead now, the hurts just got him. Um, Alright, so this Churchill one, the only thing that could hurt it is um, the Hitzer, but if he plays it smart, this should be curtains for the enemy, I think. Um, don't know what this Panzer for isn't. Oh, I suppose he's probably. No, no, he's advancing, okay. He's probably getting hit by that. Um, oh, it's got the artillery. Probably getting hit by the hurt soul. That Wolverine didn't even see that. Um, so yeah, sh we should have this. We should. I mean, if the artillery keeps being as accurate as they're being, we should really have this one. Don't know what the. I suppose the. It looks like two of them are just kind of chilling at this point. We do have a full health Wolverine as well, so. Oh, that must be close. Oh, man, those just got the Churchill. <clears throat> There you go, the artillery, look at that. Artillery is really doing well, uh, and the Wolverine gets the kill there. And so just their Wolverine left, and then that's curtains on them. And I mean, as long as we keep spotting, spotting, less spotted, like in that M4's AFK, um, as long as we keep spotted, this artillery should absolutely own him. If they do anything like they've been doing before, ooh, there we go, yep. In fact, Panzer Fool's gonna finish him off, so there we go, good win to us. Unfortunately, we didn't survive till the end, but anyway, that's alright. We got just one of them, and we did some good damage to that KV-1. Um, I got double XP because it was the first win of the day uh, for me on the T-1 Heavy. Um, as you can see, so what we do, we actually detected all three of those guys, and allies killed the M2, got two critical hits on the T-46, destroyed him, and then we did 249 bit points of damage to the KV-1. Alright, so, there you go, that's it, part, end of part 4, um, hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I will see you guys next time for part 5.